Hello and welcome to the new magic story number two. Let's go to the listen and read part. In this part, all you got to do is listen to me and read the story. Relax. Don't worry about anything. All right? Here we go. Tom. Grazi is married to Tom. Tom is a 50-year-old business administrator from Cleveland, Ohio. He is the chief executive officer of a multinational pharmaceutical company based in Brasilia. Tom is a great guy, very friendly and easygoing. But Tom is also a workaholic. He works many hours a week and sometimes on weekends. Grazi and Tom have been married for 18 years. Yes, they both speak English and Portuguese. Tom travels a lot. He travels a lot. And he has to fly to the United States and stay there for about a week every single month. He's a very important executive for the company with a lot of responsibilities. Tom loves his daughters and he tries to be the best father he can be. But he doesn't get to see them very often. He is always very busy. My question to you, my friend, is what does Grazi think of that? All right. All right. One more time. <clears throat> I am going to read this again. And this time I won't highlight the text. All right. Here we go. Tom. Grazi is married to Tom. Tom is a 50-year-old business administrator from Cleveland, Ohio. He is the chief executive officer of a multinational pharmaceutical company based in Brasilia. Tom is a great guy, very friendly and easygoing, but Tom is a workaholic. He works many hours and he works many hours a week and sometimes on weekends. Grazi and Tom have been married for 18 years and yes, they both speak Portuguese and English. He travels a lot. He has to fly to the United States and stay there for about a week every single month. He is a very important executive for the company with a lot of responsibilities. Tom loves his daughters and he tries to be the best father he can be. But he doesn't get to see them very often. He is always very busy. What does Grazi think of that? All right, good. So this was listen and read. If you are using the video, you can stop here, go back and listen to the story and watch this video again. But remember, in the next activity down below, you will have all the audio files. You can listen to this audio on your iPhone, smartphone, iPad. You can download this lesson, this audio, and listen offline. All right? Good. Now, let's take a look at the vocabulary. All right? Let's take a look at the vocabulary of this story. <clears throat> so, as you can see, the story is about Tom, Graz's husband, right? So, here it says, Graz is married to Tom. And remember, married to or married with, it's okay. You can use both, to or with. All right? Tom is a 50-year-old man. Remember the previous magic story where we, when we say Grazi is a 45-year-old woman. Tom is a 50-year-old man. But in this phrase, I also add that he is a business administrator and he is from Cleveland, Ohio. 
the United States of America. So in one sentence, in one sentence, I gave you how old he is, what he does for a living, and where he is from. So how old is Tom? 50. What does he do? Business administrator. Where is he from? Cleveland, Ohio. In one sentence. Got it? Okay, more information about, about Tom here. He is the chief executive officer of a multinational pharmaceutical company. Chief executive officer é o famoso CEO. Quem não sabia, agora aprendeu. CEO. Chief executive officer. Is a... Is a very important position in a company. It's the person who gives the executive orders. All right? During the um, aula de alinhamento, I'm going to explain other positions in the company, like CFO, okay, CIO, and, and so on. Of a multinational pharmaceutical company. The interesting thing here, I mean, the, the word is very similar to Portuguese, but the pronunciation you have to practice. Multinational or multinational. Both are okay. Multinational, multinational, right? Pharmaceutical company based in Brasilia. Pharmaceutical is a, a pharmaceutical is the industry that manufactures the vaccines. Pfizer is a pharmaceutical company. AstraZeneca is a pharmaceutical company. Remember, um, Oxford, Astra, AstraZeneca. Oxford is the research institute. AstraZeneca is the pharmaceutical company. Got it? Uh, Butantan is, is the, the research institute. Uh, the company that manufactures Coronavac is, in China, is the pharmaceutical company. Got it? Okay, good. Based in Brasilia means that he stays in Brasilia, but the company is American. Okay? But there is a branch, there is an office in Brasilia, and he works in this office in Brasilia, based in Brasilia. But you will see that he has to travel to the United States all the time. <laughs> What is Tom like? Tom is a great guy, very friendly and easygoing, just like Grazi. Okay? Grazi is a great woman, she is friendly, she is outgoing, she, she is easygoing, and she is also shy. Tom is not so shy, all right? But he is a workaholic. A workaholic is a person who is addicted to work, who's, who works all the time, all the time, all the time. He works many hours, muitas horas. And sometimes... He works on weekends. So he works many hours in a week. And sometimes he works Saturdays and Sundays. Grazi and Tom have been married for 18 years. Which means that they got married 18 years ago. Today, they are still married. So now they have been married for 18. Next year... They will have been married for 19 years. And yes, they both, the two of them, speak English and Portuguese. Tom travels a lot. He travels a lot, all the time. And he has to fly to the United States and stay there for about a week. He has the obligation. He needs to go to the United States by plane and stay there for approximately a week. And you know what? Every single month. Every month he needs to go to the United States. Which means that once a month he stays away from his family for one week. He is a very important executive for the company. 
with a lot of responsibilities. Tom loves his daughters. Remember their names? Anna and Flavia? Good. And he tries, ele tenta, tadinho. He tries to be the best father que ele pode ser, que ele consegue ser. He tries to be the best father he can be. But he doesn't get to see them very often. This sentence here is interesting. He doesn't get to see. Ele não alcança, ele não consegue fazer com que ele veja as meninas frequentemente. Ok? So, the phrase, he doesn't get to see, it means ele não consegue. Ok? So, for example, I don't get to see my kids every day because I'm divorced. I don't get, I don't get to finish the exercise because I'm too busy and so on. He's always very busy. That's why. Right? Now, the question here is for you. In your opinion, what does Grazi think about this situation? Remember that what does Grazi think of that or about that is optional. You can say what does Grazi think about that or what does Grazi think of that. All right? Good. Now I explain to you generally the meaning of this story. Go back, listen to this audio of me talking about the story again and get ready, get ready to go to the listen and answer activity. Here we go. Let's go to the listen activity, listen activity, to the listen and answer activity, right? The listen and answer activity is a very For me, it's a very exciting activity because I'm going to talk to you. You are going to talk to me. This is the moment you talk to me. All right? Good. I'll ask you a question and you give me the answer. That's it. Example? Who is Grazi married to? Who is Grazi's husband? Tom. Graz is married to Tom. Right? Good. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Here we go. Who is Grazi married to? Okay, she's married to Tom. Very good. Very good. Graz is married to Tom. And how old is Tom? How old is Grazi's husband? He is 50 years old. Tom is 50. What does Tom do? He is a business administrator. That's it. He's a business administrator. Remember, administrator. Where does he work? In a company? Yes. In a pharmaceutical company? Yes. He's the CEO of a pharmaceutical company? Yes. What's Tom like? What's Tom like? Remember. Não tem nada a ver com o que o Tom gosta ou não deixa de gostar só porque tem a palavra like. All right? What's Tom like? You're asking about the description. Como é que ele é? Dá uma descrição do Tom. All right? What's Tom like? Friendly. He's a great guy. Easy going. But he's a workaholic. Yes. How much does Tom work? A lot. He works many hours a week. He works on weekends sometimes. A lot. And how long have they been married? How long have Grazi and Tom 
been married? 18 years. That's it. 18, 18 years. Tom and Grazi, or they have been married for 18 years. You got it? What language do they speak? What language do Tom and Grazi speak? They both speak Portuguese and English. And uh, where does Tom have to go every month? Where does he need to travel to every month? He has to travel to the United States every month. Very good. How long does he need to stay there? How long does he have to stay there? One week. He needs to stay there one week. He needs to stay there for one week every month. Is Tom a good father? Yes or no? Uh, I don't know, Leo. I mean, he tries to be a good father, right? I don't know. He tries to be a good father. I don't know if he is a good father or if he's not a good father, but he tries to be a good father. Does he get to see his daughters very frequently, all the time? Does he get to see them? No. Tom doesn't get to see them very often. Why not? Because he's busy all the time, right? Because he's busy all the time. All right, good. Now, the next activity is you are going to retell the story. All right? And antes que a gente continue, this is very important. Calma. Essa atividade de listen and answer, você tem que fazer de novo. Ok? Não fique parado aqui e vai em diante. Abaixo, no curso, você tem todos os áudios para você praticar isso em qualquer lugar e toda hora que você puder. Se você fizer apenas uma vez esta atividade, você não vai aprender, você não vai conseguir desenvolver a sua escuta e a sua fala. Conseguiu... Olha só, eu estou afirmando para você. Se você não fizer pelo menos umas 10 repetições disso, do listen and answer, you are not going to speak English. That's it. Got it? Good. Let's go to look and retell. Look and retell. Você vai olhar para a pergunta e esta atividade is very, very important. É o momento onde você vai recontar essa história. Você concorda que você vai precisar trabalhar bastante o que a gente já fez aqui até agora para poder chegar no look and retell e conseguir recontar a história com tranquilidade? Concorda? Concorda que neste exato momento que você está vendo este vídeo pela primeira vez, na hora que você chegou aqui no look and retell, você não treinou o suficiente do que, eu fiz, do que a gente fez até agora? Isso tem que estar tá claro para você. Não é à toa que dentro do curso você tem todas as atividades para você fazer todos os dias nos próximos sete dias. Que isso fique muito claro na sua cabeça. Assistir esse vídeo de Magic Story vai resolver? Vai. Se você voltar e repetir, vai. Você pode ficar só com esse vídeo. Você não precisa usar mais nenhum áudio. But you need to go back... Listen to the vocabulary, listen to the listen and answer again and again and again and again. E aí, aí você chega aqui no look and retell. Porque o look and retell não é para você fazer lendo. Não é para você fazer lendo. É para você fazer olhando a pergunta. Vou fazer um exemplo 
para você fazer sozinho aí. Ok? Então você vai pegar o PDF ou vai colocar essa parte do vídeo, tirar o áudio e olhar só para as perguntas que eu vou mostrar. Ou você vai baixar o PDF, botar o áudio, na... escutar o exemplo que está no áudio e depois você faz sem nada. Mas lembre-se, não é para você ler a história, é para você recontar. Observe. Você está vendo aqui a pergunta, né? Ok. I look at the question and say, Ok. Well, uh, Tom is Grazi's husband. And he is 50 years old. Uh, Tom is a, a business administrator. He's actually the CEO of a multinational big pharmaceutical company based in Brasilia. Tom is, Tom is a great guy. He's very friendly, outgoing. But he, there is a problem. Tom is a workaholic. He works a lot. He works many hours a week, even on weekends. Tom and Grazi have been married for 18 years. And yes, they both speak Portuguese and English. Tom speaks Portuguese and English. Grazi speaks Portuguese and English. And every month, Tom has to go to the United States. And stay there for about a week. Every month. Every month. Tom loves his daughters. And he tries to be a good father. But he doesn't get to see them very frequently. Very often. Because he's always very busy. He's always very busy. Got it? Muito bem, pega este exemplo que eu dei para você, olhando para as perguntas e faça sozinho ou sozinha. Ok? Got it? Good. Let's move on to listen and ask. Ok, good. In the activity of listen and ask, you are going to practice asking questions. Agora vem... O treinamento de fazer perguntas. Eu acho que eu nem preciso dizer que você deve fazer com a mesma frequência que você fez todos os outros que você viu até agora. Você tem que repetir este treinamento todos os dias. Por que, Léo? Para você treinar fazer perguntas. Então você vai ouvir eu te falando uma coisa sobre a, a story about Tom, e eu vou dizer, question, e aí você me dá uma question. Got it? Are you ready? Here we go. Grazi is married to Tom. Question. Who is Grazi married to? Very good. Tom is 50 years old. Question. Very good. How old is Tom? How old is Grazi's husband? Tom is a business administrator. Question. What does Tom do? All right. Tom is the CEO of a pharmaceutical company. Question. Where does Tom work? Or you can ask, what does Tom do? Same thing. Tom is a great guy. Very friendly, outgoing, but he's a workaholic. Question. What is Tom like? What is Tom like? Very friendly, outgoing, but he's a workaholic. Tom works a lot. Many hours a week, even on weekends. Question. How much does Tom work? Very good. 
Uh, they have been married for 18 years. Tom and Grazi have been married for 18 years. Question. How long have they been married? How long have Grazi and Tom been married? How long have they been married? For 18 years. Yes. They both speak Uh, Portuguese and English. Question. What language do Tom and Grazi speak? Pausa aqui. Se você perguntar, do they speak English? Tá certo. Do they speak Portuguese? Tá certo. Ok? Well, <coughs> Tom has to travel to the United States every month. Question. Where does he have to go every month? Where does he have to travel to every month? To the United States. He has to stay there for about one week. Question. How long does he have to stay? How long does he have to stay there? Essa eu dei a resposta rapidinho, né? Tom tries to be a good father. Question. Is he a good father? All right. Is he a good father? No. Tom doesn't get to see his daughters very often. Question. Does Tom get to see his daughters all the time? Very often? Frequently? No. He doesn't get to see his daughters. What does Grazi think of that? All right, all right. Okay. In this video, you saw all the activities. Você viu todas as atividades necessárias para esta magic story. Essas atividades você deve realizar ao longo da semana. Ok? Então você está recebendo esta Magic Story agora. Lá dentro do curso você vai ter Vocabulary. Aliás, Listen and Read, que a gente fez logo de cara. Vocabulary. Listen and Answer. Look and Retell. Look and Ask Questions. Look não. Listen and Ask Questions. Então, são cinco atividades. Dessas cinco atividades, a que você mais tem que treinar é Listen and Answer, Look and Retell, Listen and Ask. Essas três você precisa treinar todos os dias. This is very, very important. Remember, todos os áudios estão all in English. A partir de agora, você vai praticar all in English. All right. Thank you so much, my friend. Vejo vocês na aula de alinhamento e dentro do vídeo ask. Thank you so much. Cheers.